Tiwa Savage, David Do, and Mr. Easy um, cover Billboard magazine. The conversation following the cover was tagged three of Africa's biggest stars for making the industry come to them. Um, they touched on how they have adjusted creativity and pers adjusted creatively and personally to life um, due to the pandemic, factors driving industry investments in Africa in the past few years, encountered stereotypes and their individual music business choices. While speaking on stereotypes, Siwa Savage talked about how the perception of Africans is changing with the help of social media and the limitation of the modern African woman. Huge, another huge one. You have to say, you have to admit that like, being a Nigerian, especially when it comes to music, is a big flex. It's like, once you say you're a Nigerian in some chores, in some shows rather than like, oh, okay. And this is another like big flex for us being on the billboard. Three people on the billboard is like a huge step. Um, I'm surprised this kid wasn't there. it's not Billboard Africa. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm yeah, just saying, like, <laughs> true. Usually they, yeah, um, which, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, but still, this is huger. Um, I was surprised this kid wasn't there, but to stick to the storyline, which is on <laughs> Tua Savage and, and being a modern woman and having Afri I, um, modern African women and limitations. Is, I'm glad that she is talking about a social ill. Um, I think Tua Savage does a very good job with trying to keep safe and, you know, really just preserve. But I like that she got this opportunity to talk about something that is huge and, and a huge problem in this side of the world. Um, especially coming from a modern version of an African woman, I think that that's a very niche space. And I'm glad that she took that up. Um, it starts a conversation, already has started a conversation. And I don't think there's anything I want to say on the table about that that I've, I've I probably not already, yeah. already spoken about. But it's good that we are, any opportunity to like revisit that and really start to talk about that is good. Yeah. Um, big shout out to David O, Tua Savage, and Mr. Easy for blessing that cover because I believe they blessed it. And um, then. <laughs> 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 and. Um, on Tiwa Savage, I like the fact that she was able to balance what she was saying. She said being submissive, that they expect women to be submissive. That, don't get me wrong, it's not like there's anything wrong with that, but women can do so much more. So women shouldn't just say that, ah, oh, because Tiwa Savage has spoken, I'm not going to be submissive, because a lot of women do not believe in being submissive anymore. But there has to be a balance. You can do so much more as a submissive woman. It doesn't say to not be submissive. So that's what you of also that's the gist. important things that's what you, you that's what, what you wanted that's what i picked ah, Ay, yeah, yeah. Ah. but anyway kudos <laughs> to the writer i think his name is Sheye or she i yeah, missing that somehow but reading the article is it just carries you along mm. Mm. from the beginning to the end you don't want to drop your phone you want to know what did he say next what did tiwa say next what did davido say even the introduction alone is an article of its yeah. own so kudos to the writer i don't think people who do this behind the scenes work really get the Accolade. the accolades they deserve so i just want to say well done on that beautifully written article and um, of course you've said it um tiwa was spot on davido of course was spot on i don't know why anytime i read or watch an interview of davido making a lot of sense it still feels weird <laughs> to me I kind of feel like he's just amazing with music. So I, I never expect him to be able to be so articulate, to mm. sound very good and then represent Africa. But he keeps doing that. As much as I love him, that's just the perception that's just mm. stuck somewhere in my head. And kudos to both of them. She's from a guy that went to Babcock University. Oh, uh, God. You went, went to Babcock University. You went to Babcock submissive. Yeah, Your this conversation. So, Let's not even go there. So, no, I'm, dish. I'm just saying. So, like, but for Mr. Easy, so can I continue? <laughs> for Mr. Easy, no, I'm not balancing. Balance. Who went to Babcock University? David, David Doe. Right. I thought he went abroad. Ah, he came back. Oh, okay. Mm. So, um, for Mr. Easy, I, I love how he talked about his decision to be independent and how he has also turned down a lot of. Um, um, mouth-watery deals just to maintain the lane he has decided to maintain and now mm. he has the empower and all the money mm. um he's gotten for grants to be able to help other artists he also mentioned um one i can't remember the name of the artist now but i think he's from tanzania one african country anyway that he said he's jumping on the song with um him it, i think he discovered him alongside joe boy as well mm. so he's doing a lot in that regard mm. i just want to say shout out to three of them mm. they are they're representing us right and that's what we need right now yeah yeah Nice. We still want to talk about Babcock and submission. Well, um, like if you still want me to touch on the yeah, submissive please. part, mm, I would gladly touch on it because women tend to look yeah. at it like. <laughs> oh.